looking at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. That's why when this guy polite, you know, try to get the uh, um, the uh, uh, bloods and the crypts against us, basically we we just kept teaching. We just keep teaching, you know, it's because it's a faith thing. You know, at any time, it, it, for years we've been going out, people pulled out guns on us, you know, people have threatened to kill us, throwing stuff out the windows, you know, trying to get us off the corners, talk, talking about we weren't going to be prophesying after a certain point, but we still have to go out there because, you know, how about Shem Yahushai commanded us to go out there, you know, and it's a faith thing, because at any given time a car could jump, to jump the, uh, the thing, a truck could run into us, you know, somebody can come by, you know, a, a jump or whatever. But we still have to go out there because we are commanded by Yahweh Bashem Yahushua to go out there and speak and teach. And we got to put our lives on the line. Yeah, that happened to the apostles and um, the, the, the prophets, the various prophets. All right, it says here, um, this is our first... I just want to make sure I'm at the right place. If yeah, First Thessalonians 5 and 14, it says, Now we exhort you, brethren, warn, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. The main part is now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly. Okay? So that's why we do what we do. It says here in Isaiah 62 and 6, it says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls. And now it doesn't say dawn, the fall, spring, and the summer. It doesn't say that, man. Okay? It says, I have set watchmen. You heard that, Nate? I, you, <laughs> you heard that, uh, Yahweh Sop? They weren't watching during the winter. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night, winter or summer. That, 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 that's not in there. I just put that in there. But ye that make mention of Yahweh, not Christ, but Yahweh, keep not silence. All right? And that's why everybody... Hey, there's a lot of guys that are coming out the woodwork that claim claiming to be Israel, or they're coming after the different. They're not just coming after us no more. They're coming after all the camps. There's one this Ephraimite made this uh, three hour uh, Google sit down or whatever, and him and this other dude and they would talk. He, he in the video, it said I sent it to you. In the video, it said uh, these guys that are formerly from One West, uh, the IUIC, the GMS, the 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 ISUPK, the GOCC, they're getting all of us. They're putting us in a bundle now. All these one and that and, and see, when anybody gets on any of us, we are the guys from the the old one west. Break off splits from the old one west. And it's and, and, and a lot of you people that are coming against us are set up by the elite. By these uh I would say uh, secret governmental agencies that are paying you lot, a lot of money to uh, debunk this whole thing, okay? To or to come come against this thing any way you can because now this thing is this this thing is like wildfire, man. You can't control it. So now you got a lot of different Israelite guys, and I know that you got a lot of new Israelite groups that came on the scene, like. Mid uh, 2014, the beginning of 2014, and all of a sudden they're teaching things from the Bible, and these guys are ex experts in the Bible. But a lot of them teach; they'll teach um, about Esau. They'll say Esau is not the white man. That's a big thing. They're making these two-hour, three-hour videos showing you that Esau is not the white man. Now, why would they be teaching that? to counteract what we're teaching that Esau, the Edomites, are the so-called white men. White men. There's one group that broke off. they out of Detroit. They broke off from uh, the GOCC, and they changed the name of the Most High again. I think they call the name of the Most High Yahuwah. 
and uh, his the son his son's name Yeshua. Remember they they what's the name of that group? They they were out there. They were out there. Yeah, the, the God's chosen seed. They did a video recently where they taught maybe a two. I think it was a two hour class or something like that. Hour and a half, two hour class where they were going into. Uh, I, I think the title of the video was uh, uh, Esau is not the white man. Matter of fact, you know what? Let me just put that name, that title in, and see how many different groups come up. And these are new guys. These are not guys that go back uh, eight years ago, you know, five years ago. These are guys that just came on the scene, damn, last year, year and a half ago. So either they're bugged out of their mind or they're getting paid to teach that garbage. All right? Esau is the so-called white man descended from the Edomites. Their biblical name is that they're the Edomites. That's right. The first Edomite is a man by the name of Esau. And that, that's, the, that's the nation that's getting ready to be destroyed. Ain't no goddamn Arabs with red beards in the goddamn mountains, man. Yeah, that's right. And they, basically they're doing that because, you know, they're, they're being paid off, you know, because they're trying to dis disrupt this word because this word is taking root now and it is growing, you know, and, and, it, and it's all pretty much all over the world. So they're trying to figure out how, how can they stop it. They thought they had stopped it once once uh, they, they uh, infiltrated One West and the school ain't even there anymore. They moved to Madison. They thought they disrupted it then, but that just made it grow even stronger. Yeah, I got a scripture to uh, uh, bring out. Uh, this is the book of Matthew 16 and 18. It says, And I say unto thee that thou art Peter. Now this is Yahushua speaking to Peter, the head disciple of uh, this truth, which began, what, 2,000 years ago when Yahushua came on the scene that thou art Peter, and upon this rock, because the word Peter, uh, Peter also had another name, Cephas, which means stone. Now that word Peter in the Greek, the word there is Petra, which means rock. So it says, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. And this is, the word church means congregation. So this is the congregation that is, uh, you know, um, that's being built, starting with Peter, which you, 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 you're hearing about it now through Great Millstone. Um, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So now the, the gates of hell, that's a metaphor for... And they ain't just talking about the white man, Esau. Yeah. It's talking about these other groups that got paid off. Absolutely. Guys like Nate, guys like Johanna. Yep. All right? Yeah. Uh, also known as uh, Remy499. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're Metaphorically, they're the gates of hell. Now... What the elder apostle Taha said is absolutely correct because when you look up, we we'll look up a couple of words here, as is our custom to do. Uh, we we'll look up the word gate or gates. Now there's a bunch of definitions, but under here where it says metaphor, it says the access or entrance to any to into any state. All right. So now it begins with the state, which the state is uh, embarking on, upon a what? A so-called New World Order. And part of the, the plans of the so-called New World Order is to destroy the truth. All right? So it begins with them. All right? They're like the gate. <laughs> then when you look up the word hell, because it says the gates of hell, when you look up the word hell, down here it says the abode of the wicked. <laughs> 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 the abode of the wicked. So the gates of hell... Figuratively speaking, is the abode of the wicked. 